what a game it was at Anfield. It had all the drama and excitement you'd expect in a title run-in. The coaching staff were on the pitch, the fans were delirious, and the players were celebrating as if this victory could be the turning point in the race for the title. It's a Manchester City effect, and Liverpool have now overcome adversity on their own turf, with just 1 minute and 19 seconds left on the clock, Liverpool found themselves on the brink of defeat. Fulham's Bobby de Cordovaride had put them ahead with a header in the 80th minute. But then, in a stunning turn of events, Wataru Endo equalised for Liverpool in the 87th minute, and Trent Alexander-Arnold scored the winner in the very next attack. It was as if Anfield had finally woken up and recognized the potential of this emerging Liverpool side. There were plenty of moments for both the cynics and the believers in this match. Liverpool's goalkeeper Alisson Becker was sorely missed, and his absence was felt in the first half when backup goalkeeper Quiven Kelleher struggled. Two exquisite long-distance goals were followed by poor goalkeeping errors, and Liverpool paid the price for not having their Brazilian number one between the posts. But then, in a breathless cameo, Liverpool mounted a stunning comeback. Alexander-Arnold and Alexis McAllister scored spectacular goals to give Liverpool the lead. Fulham, however, took advantage of Liverpool's defensive vulnerabilities and equalised twice before taking the lead themselves. It looked like Fulham's manager Marco Silva would be rewarded for his courage, but then the cop came to life. Liverpool's never-say-die attitude kicked in, and they snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. This game showed just how important a listen is to Liverpool, but it also highlighted the resilience and belief within this Liverpool team. They refused to give up, and their late rally proved that they are still in the race for the title. What a game, what a comeback! Liverpool fans will be hoping that this victory is the turning point in their season. Stay tuned for more football news and updates from Football News Centre.